Well, now to another audit. A political battle could be brewing over housing developments along the Wasatch Front. Some say we could run out of building space in 20 years if things don't change. Some city mayors blame the state for a lack of infrastructure. KUTV's Paul Nelson live tonight in Harriman with more. And Paul, what do the auditors say? Well, the auditors were looking at projected population growth along the Wasatch Front, and they were combining that along with the existing housing plans in cities like Bluffdale and Harriman, where we are right now. And the auditors say that there simply is not going to be enough room until the cities change their housing plans. Legislative Auditor General Cade Minchie says cities in Salt Lake and Davis counties need to build fewer single-family homes and place more housing units on less land. And they don't have a lot of time to change those plans. Based on our audit findings in Salt Lake County, we'd run out of space in 2042 and in Davis County 2048 unless planning documents were changed. The audit also says lawmakers are able to make a statewide housing plan and they could reward cities that comply with it or penalize cities that don't. And he says cities don't necessarily have to build more apartment complexes. Townhomes is, is specifically part of that. Just looking at how to get more um, available housing in, 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 uh, in the space that we have. Minchie says they don't want to take control away from cities, but instead collaborate with municipalities to create an effective housing strategy. Harriman Mayor Lauren Palmer says he welcomes the chance to partner with the state to make this plan but they need help. We keep saying cities don't have budget surpluses. We don't have enough money to go out and just keep building roads to accommodate this growth. We need, that's where the state can really come in and help. Riverton Mayor Trent Staggs fully agrees. They can't build more housing units without the infrastructure to support people living there. And he says their city council will likely pass a resolution urging lawmakers not to act on the audit's recommendations. The state legislature likes to claim, likes to pride themselves on looking to local government control. And this would, would just rip that out, rip it away. Staggs also says that the county has already given permission to build more than 19,000 additional housing units, but because there's no infrastructure in those areas, nobody's building them. Reporting live, Paul Nelson, KUTV 2 News.